Welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike. If you are ready for some good French onion soup, this is the recipe for you. Look at the size of that onion, huh? Woo! Let me show you what's in the recipe. Check out the ingredients that we're going to be using for French onion soup. Well, we have two different kinds of onions. We have yellow onion, we have Vidalia onion, and then we're going to be using garlic and we have some bay leaf and thyme. Then we have two different kinds of wine that we're going to be using, some sherry and port. We're going to be using some olive oil, salt and pepper, some flour, a little butter, maybe a lot of butter. And then we have these real neat little rounds that we're going to be using to put over the French onion soup. And we're going to put some Swiss and Monterey Jack over it and bake it down, you know, and, and make it look real pretty. And it's going to taste wonderful, look beautiful. So hang with me. Let's get this going and uh, try not to make it a really long recipe, okay? I also wanted to mention that I made my own chicken stock and my own beef stock. Now, if you have to buy that, uh, that's fine. Just try to get it unsalted. If you can't, that's fine. Just be careful when you're using salt because usually chicken stock has a lot of salt in it. The first thing we're going to do is cut up all of our onions, but I want to show you how I cut up the onions for my French onion soup. So come take a look. Okay, we'll start off with a paring knife, and we're just going to go right in. Now what you want to do is hold your thumb on the tip of the blade like that, about leaving an inch out, and then just go in and twist that little blade around until you get out the, the little uh, core. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. like that, and then just cut down a little bit and start peeling back the skin like that. That's how I do it. It's easy enough. Here's our big Vidalia onion. It's the same technique. Leave about an inch showing on your tip of your paring knife and just cut right around like that. Pull that little piece out, and the same way on this side right here. Thin skin, you'll want to peel that off. Now, let's go ahead and cut the onion. We want to cut the onion down the middle, so we're going to cut this onion in once, twice and then come right along with it and just cut chunks like about that big. Lay that over. Yep, I screwed that up, but that's okay. It's just onion, it'll be good. Okay, let's start by sauteing the onions. I had my skillet preheated, put some really nice olive oil in there. Turn the heat up to high and we're going to put in some onions. Okay, we don't want to fry them so I'm turning the heat down a little bit. We just want them to saute, and this process could easily take an hour. So I'm not going to bore you with watching it, but I'm going to take pictures of the progression of the color of the onions. And that's what's really important because we want to wait till they get brown before we start making our soup. Wow, it's been a, almost an hour and the onions are caramelized, they were beautiful, they're sweet. So, the next step, we're just going to go ahead and add in a little port wine 
and I want to try to get all of that dark fine off the edges. Once I get that done, I'm transferring everything to a different pot. And by the way, if you don't like garlic in your onion soup, don't put it, but I'm gonna go in with a good healthy, maybe a tablespoon and a half, because I love garlic. So I'm going to continue on with getting the, the little brown bits off the skillet, and then we're gonna transfer it all to a pot. All right, let's start making our roux. I'm gonna put in about a half a stick of butter. Let's uh, go ahead and add in some flour and make a nice roux. Now, we are making a roux and we're gonna stir it until it darkens a little bit. Okay, let's get all the onions in there. Ooh, that was a lot of onions. Okay, fire's back on. Now we're gonna stir all the onions into that roux. Okay, guess what? We're gonna add in some port and some cream sherry. So let's go ahead and add in about a half a cup of each. Ooh, don't touch that pot, that burger's hot. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, boy, that's gonna smell good. It's looking good. So what we have to do now is start adding a combination of chicken stock and beef stock. So I'm gonna get all of that over here and we'll put that in right now. Well, remember I made my homemade beef stock and that's what we're doing. We're going in with the beef stock first. That's two cups and two cups of chicken stock. We have to put enough stock in. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna add in some bay leaf. One, two, three, four about a half a teaspoon of thyme. It's sweet, but it definitely needs salt and pepper. We have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Oh, man. Now, you have to adjust this until it's the thickness that you like. So I'm already looking at it and saying, you know, I need a little more chicken stock. And a little more beef stock. Okay. Mm. That's looking better. What I'm gonna do now is bring this to a boil, and then I'm gonna lower it and just let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Let all those flavors come together. If I need to, I have a little more chicken stock and beef stock, I can go ahead and, and add that to it. I'll let you know if I do, but I'll see you in about 45 minutes. Oh man, can you see how beautiful the onion soup is? It just looks beautiful, it smells great and it does taste good too. I will tell you this, I did put in uh, two wines, the cream sherry and the port, and it, it, it did give it a little bit of a sweetness to it. I like it, Miss Pam's not crazy about it. She doesn't care for the sweet. Um, you don't have to put any wine in your onion soup. If you want it, add it. If you don't, leave it out. But it's beautiful, and now it's time to assemble and put that baby in the broiler. Well, all that's left to do is to put our crusty little breads right on top. 
like that. We'll go on with some Monterey Jack. Let's top that with some Swiss cheese. Okay, the soups are in the oven and it's just gonna take a few minutes to get the cheese nice and melted and browned on top. And it's just gonna look so good. I cannot wait to show you what it looks like and taste it because it's been, oh God, it smells so good in here. Oh man, I wish I were here to try this. This soup is delicious. <laughs> so anyway, give us a few minutes and as soon as that cheese is ready, we're pulling it out. Well, I had to let it cool, but it was just that hot. And I kind of made a little bit of a mess trying to break through that little crusty bread with all the cheese, but it's ready. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, is that good? Mmm, mmm. I haven't had a good onion soup in a long time. And this is just hitting the spot. I am so sorry that I have to eat this in front of you, but it is that delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at that, huh? Wow. Well, I sure hope you guys give this recipe a try. Don't forget what I said about the port wine. You know, port wine is a little sweet. If you're not into the sweet, don't use it, okay? The sherry wine, uh, just maybe cut back to maybe a half a cup and let it go at that. But frankly, I love it. I'm, I'm in love with this. So tweak the recipe as you wish. And, uh, and I didn't say this earlier, but I think you guys know that I put all of the ingredients in the description. Everything that I do is in the description. So I hope you really give this a try. Uh, if you like our videos and you're enjoying watching uh, me in the kitchen, which I hope you are, hey, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, please, and ring the notification bell. As I always say, and I always will, God bless you. Have a great week. We love you guys.